I like it when my calendar is packed and when there's a lot, and I mean a lot to do. But I absolutely underestimated the enormous effort it takes to run this channel. Challenging, even more so when you try to do it on the side. I've got my team that helps me and the stool is making weird noises. Anyhow, my team helps me and yet it takes me many, 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 many hours every week. So let me show you what is needed to publish a new episode every Sunday. Just one more sentence beforehand. My thoughts are with all the children and families in the Ukraine who are suffering from that stupid war. Bam! Ah, oh, fresh faces in front of the screens. Nice. Welcome to the Business MC channel where I share the experiences from my six year journey from mediocrity to millionaire. My offer, infos and shortcuts for business rookies and average people like me. Plus, insights from my creative everyday life, also as a beginner YouTuber, everything else you need to know, linked here and in the description below. Starting YouTube had two reasons. On the one hand, to see if I can make it. And on the other hand, no less important, to show you what it really takes to run a channel and to figure out all those little difficulties you hardly ever hear about. We are going to make a video on everything we find out regularly. So let's start with a little poll. What do you think? How many hours a week does it take for a beginner YouTuber, non-native, English speaking that I am to run the channel, releasing a video a week. Go to the comment section and leave your guess. I'm really very interested. So, underestimating all the effort in general is one thing. Everything always needs more time than you plan. What makes things challenging is that you find out what is needed right when you need it, but don't have it. Could be an adapter, a cable, a light stand, a piece of decoration, the know-how to make something work, or even just the right words to express the message. I had to figure out everything without any filmmaking experience. And before this channel went live on January 1st, 2022, I was testing and trying out for over a year. And yet, big improvements happen with every new video. I'm constantly learning the right use of the gear while making the videos, what costs time too. But in this video, I don't want to talk about the tech stuff. I'm going to make a separate video on the gear we use soon. The equipment is of course an important part to talk about, but today it's about all these hours and hours that are running into making these videos every week. It's not just filming myself spontaneously, it also takes some preparations. Defining the content. First, I choose the topic and do a bit of research on the hard facts. And then I write a script, which is not just about what to say and when to say it. It's also about how I am presenting the content, facial expressions, gestures, kind of shots, B-roll, sometimes even transitions to use. So we exactly know how and what to shoot. And very important, how to create suspense to make you all stick to watching the video till the very end. Any tips? For a video that's more or less eight minutes long on average, scripting takes me at least three to four hours. Setting up the scene. I like to prepare the room before shooting and I have to do so every single time as I don't have a studio just for me. So I clean up what's inside Bit of acoustic treatment, setting up the lights and cameras, check the framing, and this light went out. Nobody knows why. Hmm. Back on again. The actual shooting. The big improvement we've been able to make so far is in the recording time. That step contains three parts. The intro, I mostly shoot on my own. The main part here in the studio 
and the B-roll. That's all the other sequences you see in the videos. When shooting the main part, I get support from Lisa and Neen. Let me show you. <laughs> Camera. So, Lisa and Nina. And um, Nina is responsible for the cams and recording setting, including the mic right up here. And Lisa takes care of my acting, like a director, so she's the boss, actually. But even with a script and teleprompter, I need several attempts. So the three of us in here are shooting for about two hours. All the shooting times together add up to seven to eight hours. Next part is editing. And I'm very happy that Lara is doing 95% of that work. Hi. I wouldn't find the time. And to be honest, I have no clue about it. Here's what she told me is needed to be done. Viewing the footage and selecting the best takes takes at least double the time of the duration of the footage. Cutting and putting together the scenes roughly, then the fine cut, including zooming in and out to underline what I'm saying, Pimping the sequences with sound effects. Making transitions, music underlays and inserts. Finally, adjusting the color. Editing part takes about another seven hours. Last step is publishing. Even creating a thumbnail picture, uploading everything, Writing the description, making the right settings to publish a new episode takes me a full hour. Followed by the marketing done by Denise. She invests about three hours per week. All in all, four hours. Summed up, just so we get an overview of how many hours it took per video so far. Scripting, three to four, so let's say three and a half hours. Setting up the location, two hours. Shooting, 7.5 hours. Editing, seven hours. Publishing process, four hours. Round it up by a couple of meetings, we easily get to 25 hours a week. And you can imagine that it's getting quite tricky and stressful when someone gets sick or something doesn't work technically. So, are these 25 hours a week plus everything else that comes with it besides time worth it? One thing is for sure, the answer to that is worth another video. The New Year's Resolutions Challenge. To find out what that is about, follow the link in the description. And let me tell you, though I'm a good boy, running and working out twice a week, Giving up on sweets from Monday to Thursday, no progress is visible at all. So I decided to change the plan, increase workout intensity, decrease sweets. Because I gotta admit, every portion of sugar I save during the week, I add more on the weekend. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bam the subscribe button if you haven't already. And, and support me on the road to a million subs with a thumbs up, or at least have fun watching me fail. Stay open-minded. Tschüss und Baba. Ah, one more thing. Thanks to Lisa, Nina, Lara, Clarissa and Denise. Always a big pleasure to work with you.